when there are frustrations or there is conflict, that's not because we don't like the other person or, or you know, it's not about the other person. Usually it's about the situation, right? Yes. And by bringing that sense of authenticity into the conversation, it reminds us, like, it just re, it reminds us of the love that we have for each other. And that is far greater than, than any moment of frustration. I mean, it towers any moment of frustration or, or struggle or, you know, perceived suffering in that moment. None of that can compare to the amount of love that we share between each other. And so that always trumps the conflict. Yes. And it immediately, uh, in many ways, uh, I don't know what the word is right now, but... <laughs> uh, Communication is not your friend at this yeah, time. Yeah, it is not my friend at this. Um, <laughs> I know, okay. I know what I the, the desire I want to say, but um, and this is what happens yeah, in communication yeah. sometimes, you words. right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like you have your intention, but yeah. conveying that intention is not always the easiest thing. It is not. No, but neutralizes you, it. There Boom, you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, thank you, my love. Um, so, yeah, it absolutely, just it neutralizes that conflict, right? Because it just reminds us of the love that we have, the passion and connection that we have. And so, and then we can be a little bit goofy, and you know, that's our thing, right? Or we'll kind of, you know, throw a Star Wars joke in there, or or something from you know, Dumb and Dumber or Zoolander, just to like bring, as you said, bring levity, bring, you know, just kind of something in it to just kind of reset, right? And, and not that it's not serious, or we're not serious about it. Thank you. Yeah. And I think that that's important, too. But if we're so serious, that we can't understand that it's a moment in our relationship, mm -hmm. and not the culmination, like, that's not the most important part of our relationship, right? It's one moment. And five years from now, we won't even remember that moment. Mm -hmm. no, you're so right. Yeah, oftentimes we get mad at people or hold grudges, and we're like, we don't even know like a week or two or even a couple months later. Like, I don't even know what it was. Yeah. And so it's why, then why, right? That and that's that's something we've seen in shows and and even around us, yeah, just in really individuals, and that's just a good good reminder to us to just hey, our our love yeah. in our relationship is more important than any one moment because. You know, the, that that love is lasting. It is the depth of it is what shapes our entire life together, and that that's worth saving. You know, and and I don't want to say fighting for because you know that's what we've seen. You know, in shows like you know yeah. we've been seeing them and like oh, I'll fight for you and and all that, and that's cool. That's not like nice passion and 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 love, but it's like. I, it's not about the fighting for each other. It, it's about respecting and honoring each other and loving each other. And choosing and each choosing. other. And choosing. God, that's a great word. Even yes. I don't desire to let go of expansive love because of a choice. Mm. One choice that someone I love has made or someone I work with and respect has made. Because no person I love is a single choice. Now, if they continue to make the same choice over and over and over and over again, and it's hurting or harming our connection, I may choose to step away from that connection for a bit sure. until they make a different choice for themselves and for us. But that doesn't mean that I love them less. It simply means that that choice is not honoring boundaries, right? Mm -hmm.